So today we're going to be building an application that can get all of the jokes on this website here, which is Reddit, and uh, save them in a JSON file. So the data we're going to be getting today is this data here. So you can see that it is the name or the title or this up here. So this text up here, that text, and then we're getting the image under that. And this is the URL to the image. If we go ahead and copy this and open a new fan, that's the image. To get this data here, we're going to be using Puppeteer. So in our code, we're going to be requiring Puppeteer and FS because we want to save the file. Now, if you were doing something else with the jokes, you could of course have added them to a database instead of saving them to a file. But in this case, I'm just saving them to a file. Then we have an instantly instantiated function because we're working with asynchronous code. This is a number that defines how many times we're going to be scrolling. So how many chunks we're going to have of data. And uh, the number 25 is roughly going to give you around 100 jokes. This is the URL. Theoretically, this could be any Reddit form, but I've just picked the programmer humor one, but I haven't tested it with other ones than the humor one. So the next line we're doing here is that we, this is the object that's going to store um, all jokes as a key value pairs. And this is to prevent duplication of jokes because we're grabbing chunks and chunks are overlapping a bit because essentially we're just going out and grabbing as much data as possible and then refining that data down to some nice viewable data. So we're using a key value pair to make sure that we don't have any duplicates. And then we're just showing the user that we are getting posts from Reddit. Then we're setting up Puppeteer. So we're launching the browser, not headless, so we can actually see the browser. And this is really cool. And it doesn't really serve any other purpose than being cool. The next thing we're doing here is that we're navigating to that page and waiting to be loaded. The next thing we're doing here is we're getting the root element of the post. The next line here is just the posts. Then we are looping through all of the chunks. So you can see here that we are looping through the amounts. And that's essentially just how many chunks we're going to get. In this case, we're getting 25 chunks. Then we are selecting each post and each post Reddit is named this. I'm not going to go in more details on showing you where I located them and stuff like that. But the post is named this here. And that is the chunk. Then that will get all of the posts in that chunk. So that is all of the visible posts that we can see currently on the screen. When I run this later, it will be probably easier to see what a chunk is. Reddit only shows you the posts that you can see. So this is the posts that you can see. Then we're using the spread syntax, which is just a way to add an array to another array. So we're adding that chunk to all of the posts. Then we're waiting for a second, and then we're scrolling. This is the height of a post. And then we're just timing that by 12. So that means we are scrolling 12 posts down. And that's one chunk. And then we will just repeat this behavior 25 times. Then we're just displaying a method saying that we are now extracting the jokes from the posts. Then we are looping through each of the posts. And then we are getting the property. So we are saying this post here, get the text content, which is just the text. And then we are grabbing that specific value. And that is the class name for the title. And then we're getting the source from the image. I will, don't worry, I will show you this function later. And then we're getting the source property from a class within this post object with the class image box dash image. And then we're adding that post to the jokes object. And then we're just converting those jokes into an array because currently there are key value pairs, but I want to save them as an array. And this is what this does. Then I'm saving the jokes right here at the bottom. Then I am closing the browser. And the last thing I'm doing down here is the two functions. So this is the sleep function, and this essentially just sleeps for X seconds. And this here is a bit special. So what it does is that it takes the root element, which would be the posts here. So that is the individual post. Then we want to grab a property, let's say text content, which is just the text and then the class name. So essentially what this does is that it gets a property on an element within an object. So let's see this program run. So if I just quickly run it here, you can also just quickly delete this file here so we can actually see it getting generated. So let's run it like this. And you can see that if we move this over here, you can see that it's getting them here on the side and it's going to start scrolling down. And over here, you can see the text of what it's currently doing.
Now you can see it's extracting the jokes from the posts. That means that it's done using the browser. And then it's converting the jokes into an array and saving the jokes. And we have our file here. And if we just prettify this, you can see that we have all of our jokes here with the title and the image. So I know this code was pretty complicated and I would highly recommend you to download this code and look through it yourself. Try to play around with it to get a better understanding on how it works. I feel like that is the best way because when you're working with the browser, and you're working with looping through elements in HTML that can be really difficult to wrap your head around. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.